going to talk about the latest changes that are expected to the Express Entry system. Uh, so stay tuned till the end of the video. Thank you. Hi, my name is Panet. I'm a related Canadian immigration consultant and I practice here in Missaga, Ontario. Uh, you can details are below and you can reach out to me um, and my team will be happy to address any questions concern you might have. Okay, uh, in this video, we want to talk about uh, there have been three major events that kind of are converging together into how the express entry will, will shape in the future. Uh, we'll go through one, of, one by one with each one of them. The first one is the July 6th date that Immigration Minister John Fraser has kind of uh, indicated that all the express entry draws will resume on that date. He was present in a coalition conference in Toronto and he, uh, he, in, he told that to everyone that on July 6th, we are expecting the all the express entry draws to continue. So I would encourage all of you to be ready with your profiles, uh, make sure your profiles are up to date. So the draw is coming for sure. Uh, the second thing that has happened over a period of time is like on like recently, as recent as yesterday, I guess the Prime Minister Justin Tulu has announced that he's creating a task force to expedite the express entry and expedite not just the express entry, but across all the immigration delays, the processing delays that they are facing. So uh, these two are kind of combining together, in my opinion, where uh, we could see express entry draw coming on one hand, or on the other hand, the processing time kinds of uh, kind of uh, you know reducing a bit. Third and the most important one, which I think is going to change the express entry system forever, is the introduction of Bill C-19. So what exactly is Bill C-19? So I think it's, there's a lot said and talk about Bill C-19, but we will have to, uh, I think, go a little bit deep into understanding what exactly is this. So let, let's just understand what is Bill C-19 and how does it, it's going to change the, the entire immigration or the express entry work received its royal consent on 23rd of June. And after that, it's now become a reality. So what the current, there is one interesting content here in this bill. And this is the one that I want to, I want all of us to understand. It is the, it is this one, right? 23, Division 23, Part 5, which amends the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act among the others, to authorize the Minister of Citizenship and Immigration to give instructions establishing categories of foreign nationals for the purpose of determining to whom an invitation to make an application for permanent residence to, is to be issued, as well as the instructions setting out in the economic goal that the Minister seeks to support establishing in the, in the category. What it basically means is now the Immigration Minister has the has a way of or a mandate that in that way he can he can create group specific draw so he can create categories or subcategories within the express entry profile to meet the specific demands that are there for that uh, for the but for, for which the Canada is interested there could be many examples of it for example they can divide only a particular knock code that these five knock codes club together are uh, there's the destroy is only specific targeted for this this knock code on the other hand they can also say this this not this particular draw is only targeted towards the french speaking people so there are many variations to this one uh, and reality is that nobody knows how this will came up back it will come out so uh, stay tuned we will see how it, how the future unfolds itself but at this moment the bill is passed the task force is established july 6th is a date so a lot happening in the express entry profile in the express entry world so i hope to share some good news soon and we regularly post videos on the Canadian immigration. So if you want to stay updated to the Canadian immigration news, please like, subscribe our channel and we'll be and get updated every day now and then. Thank you so much. For more videos on Canadian immigration, please like and subscribe to our channel or press the bell icon.